Howdy everyone, today we're taking a look at the Dragon Glassware upside down insulated beer glasses. Inside the box, that would present nice as a gift, we've got our four glasses, each of which is covered by two layers of bubble wrap, so hopefully shipment breakage should be non-existent save for that one delivery person who punts their packages to the door. If we look up close, we see a very nicely made piece of glassware. It feels relatively heavy duty, not that I would go out of my way to abuse it, but I don't feel the need to handle it with white gloves either. But, of course, this product really starts looking good when you pour some beer in it. Ah, who wouldn't like to serve this to guests? A genuinely upside down ale. But how well does it actually regulate temperature? All right, now to maybe uh, visualize uh, how effective a double wall insulation can be, I've set up a little experiment here. I've got some ice water. Uh, then I also have a regular 12 ounce uh, just tulip glass here, uninsulated. And then I have our upside down beer glass right here, also 12 ounces. And then for the visualization component, I also have my thermal camera over here synced up. And what I think we're gonna see is as I pour the ice cold water into the tulip glass, you're gonna see the glass itself get very cold very quickly, whereas you're not gonna see that uh, same temperature drop in the double walled insulation one, because remember, the thermal camera is gonna measure the outside temperature of the glass. And we are starting with, let's see what we got here. Let that adjust for a second. Now the water itself is about 40 degrees almost exactly. So let's pour this in here. And then uh, to make it even more fun, what I'm gonna do is let it sit for about an hour and then we'll come back and uh, see what the uh, temperature difference looks like after that time period. And just to keep things fair, let's pull those ice cubes out of there. Forty three point three degrees. Forty two point one degrees. So they're within uh, one degree or a little over one degree right now. So let's check back and like I said, about an hour. All right guys, so it's been about an hour now. So let's see how both of these uh, warmed up. Again, 12 ounces in both, uninsulated over here, insulated over here. We're looking at 58.8 for the uninsulated. Fifty five point two on the insulated. So uh, what is that? That's only a two point six degree difference. I, I did my mouth right. I actually would have expected a little bit more uh, because in my experience when I uh, sat on the couch with these in the past and had a beer, uh, they do seem to keep the liquid neat noticeably colder. Maybe that's because you're holding it with your warm hand and that doesn't transfer through as much. Uh, or maybe those few degrees makes that much of a difference. So objectively, only a couple degrees difference after an hour, but subjectively, they seem to do better than that. So overall, I really love this product. It hits that sweet spot between novelty and genuine usefulness. I am a little surprised by the results of our technical test though. I really would have expected a difference of more than four degrees over an hour. Then again, I wasn't introducing any heat via my hand, and perhaps a couple of degrees really is the difference between a delightfully cool and an awkwardly warm beer.